Yep. Whoa. Okay. Now let's mix that up real nicely. And our dinner is going to be done. We just I had to put you guys on our side so that I can mix it up properly. So that is this is how it came up. And I've already tested it. It's so tasty. And I've been actually be packing some for tomorrow. So I'm just going to be making I, I overboiled it, I think. So some of it has broken right here, but that's okay. Uh let's have dinner. Guys, you know what happened? Unfortunately, I deleted the videos that I had uh shot previously. That is why you see um I'm just adding this video onto it because i i don't know i didn't realize that i'm deleting something that i've not yet uploaded so i was just clearing up my uh old videos and stuff like that and then i included the videos that i had made for uh today's video and oh my goodness i was just so broke heartbroken guys do you see the apartments that has those lights and stuff like that it is a very beautiful apartment in there but it is so expensive i think a month it is one thousand six hundred dollars i think something like that but oh my goodness it looks so beautiful and this one as well this is uh recently built i think some few not even a year i think it was done and it is the same price like the price range is almost the same or this this may be a bit higher i've not asked about them in like about their prices and stuff the same applies to those ones right there the all apartments right around here are so expensive and uh so we are now heading to have dinner out so you guys me and my husband just had the biggest fight like ever since we got married like we had never had fights like you know of course misunderstandings are there but then we, we, we sit and clear them up so quick but then uh we had a very big misunderstanding in about two days and we try to sort it out as a couple because that is what we always do you know we sit down we talk about stuff that is hurting each one of us i'm just going to be true with you like you guys should not think that everybody is perfect like all marriages are not perfect nobody's marriage is perfect but you have to make it perfect to yourself so um today we are going out to have dinner as a family because uh I actually wanted to ask Rose to say, stay back and take care of the kids and then me and my husband could go out on a dinner date and then we talk about stuff and then we clear up whatever that is on our minds, yeah? So unfortunately, I forgot to tell Rose to stay back and I remembered when she had already gone and then we already had the program to go out and have dinner and then, you know, we had to take the kids with us, obviously. So uh, when we reached there, of course, Adash is always, you know, uh, he was fearing to come up, I don't know why, for some reasons. And then we had to get him my husband's phone so that he comes down and we had to sit down and while the boys were eating, we had to sit and talk as a couple. You know what I'm saying? We just talked about stuff and we cleared had our minds about anything that is you know you, if you keep stuff on your mind when you're a couple of course you your relationship is going to weaken so to avoid that you know i like to talk about stuff like we get a day and we sit down and we're like you know what i think we should change in this or i should i think we should uh do that or the, do the other things so this is how we've been managing our marriage for the past seven years and uh, those people who always look at st people and they're like oh my god i wish i could be like this couple like i wish my couple like my marriage would be like this people's marriage you don't know what is going on behind you know people's uh, bedrooms and stuff that is what my mom usually says <laughs> so my mom usually has a saying that goes by um you can't know that somebody has a bad a bad breath until like if you don't sleep with them or if you don't share a room, something like that. So it's in my language and I don't know how to translate it in English. But then, yeah, if you're in a relationship or if you're in marriage, do not keep stuff like in your mind or in your heart or you'll be like, oh my God, like he hurt me, like stuff like that. No, um, we actually have to talk about things to clear up every, anything that is on our mind or hurting us or stuff like that. This green chutney was super tasty, you guys. I just, we just couldn't stop ourselves. We had to ask for more and we had to, you know, while we were packing some food for home, we had to ask for more to 
stick home you know what i'm saying so yeah i was saying like if you're in a marriage do not keep stuff on your head or you know just keep quiet and let stuff hurt you you have to sit and talk about it as a couple this is how your marriage is going to move smoothly and you know you will be having happiness in your marriage and stuff like that so um me and my husband usually have to sit down and talk about things like okay before when i had just gotten married of course i was a child and i didn't know what to do and you know i'd get angry and i wouldn't talk to him for days and stuff like that but the more i've grown up the more my years are added on to me the more i realize how to handle things and the more i realize like if you're in a marriage you should not you should never actually keep things on your mind because it brings a distance between the both of you like it will keep on hurting you and you keep on distancing yourself from your partner which is not healthy for a relationship so i would advise anybody that is having anything that is hurting them or something like that to just sit down and talk about things so we went with the boys of course the boys were you know talking in between asking questions and you know crying and that on the other hand but then we kind of talked about what was on our mind so we are planning for another date to go out the like with the both of us and i don't know whether i'll be taking you guys because i don't know that will be our <laughs> every time like we just want to go out and you know just bring back uh make the love that we have more and more stronger just sit and talk about more stuff because since we we're having the kids i think we didn't talk about more and more things that were hurting us so we are just going to do that and i decided to share it with you guys so nobody should think that relationships or marriages are super hundred perfect um um healthy or maybe a hundred percent okay like people go through things and they don't talk about it you know most of the people 